I am sober as of September, so I'm calling now in late April, which means I'm a little over seven months sober uh, from nice. alcohol. I still smoke weed and occasionally kind of will do mushrooms and whatnot. Uh, but the substance abuse, like, was really just, like, the alcohol was a problem. Like, I've taken breaks off weed, like, a month or two long breaks. And, yeah, it's a little hard to start, but then, like, it's fine. And I just kind of casually smoke, like, once or twice a week now. Um, and anyways, my current issue is with my girlfriend and is uncomfortable with me doing mushrooms more than once every six months. Mm. I've been saying, and I have started kind of doing them about once or so a month. And once or so. she has a major issue with it because she is quote unquote, not a drug person, which is like cool. Like, I'm not asking her to do it. I'm not forcing her on her. I'm not taking, like, a crazy amount of mushrooms. You hear his voice? Like, Like, she's wrong. (laughs) I mean, he's like, which is like, fine or whatever, but, like, I'm not, I don't have a fucking gun in your head making you take mushrooms. You're sorry, Wednesdays or trip days. I mean, his fucking (laughs) attitude is so funny. And he says he's a problem drinker. It's like, do you think maybe you're starting... Has the mushroom use ticked up since you stopped drinking? Yeah, absolutely. Is she may be making a good point, but anyway, let's let's just hear him out, I guess. I'm doing like two and a half grams, like on my top end. Um, and with mushrooms, it's like one of those things for me where I really only want to do them like once a month because mushrooms are like it's like psychedelics are one of those things that like you do them and I don't really want to do them again for a while. Anyway, she keeps conflating them to, like, mushrooms to, like, opioids and cocaine and, like, methamphetamine. And whenever we have, like, a discussion, she's like, oh, I'm really worried about you doing it because I'm worried what this is going to lead to. And I'm like, I just don't know how to, like, tell her that. Like, yeah, I understand the alcohol was an issue in the past, but all of my other, like, me doing mushrooms, I've done mushrooms probably about a dozen times since I was 17, 24 now. Okay. Um, right and, like, done acid half a dozen times. and. So, up until now, you've done them a dozen times in seven years, but now you want to do them a dozen times in one year? Do you think maybe she's got a fucking point? Man, this is the hardest part about relationships, is you you want to double down and be right, yeah. and then sometimes you go away and you go, fuck, I was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> fuck, I was so wrong. There's nothing worse than taking a solidified like a solidified l in yeah, a relationship yeah yeah you're just on away, the record you go fuck yeah no whatever man yeah. like, <laughs> i had that recently where we just got into a fight about something stupid like i didn't know the name of a bagel place yeah and, I, and she's like i've told you it like a thousand times i was like it doesn't matter you should just help me out figure out what it is <laughs> and she was like you're being ridiculous and then like an hour later i walked in the room and i was like yeah you're absolutely right yeah that's like when you just roof the football yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no like, one plays. Fuck you then. Now, no one you. plays. Because you're being a fucking dickhead. Like you're no. being the dickhead. Yeah. We agreed it was one hand touch. Yeah. And now you want to change your. You know oh, what? But fuck you, Ed Hockley. What are you going to call me <laughs> yeah. for holding? You fucking snitch. Oh, I guess, I guess you're going to call it illegal defense next time. She actually did a funnier thing, though. She found out what the bagel. We ordered the bagel place. Mm-hmm. And then she bought a t shirt from the website. Uh, hilarious. She goes, now you won't forget. Hilarious. Oh, you uh, dude. And just like ruefully put uh, it on the t-shirt dude. like, no, I, no, I'm not going to turn down a great tea. And I'm not going to lie, it's a great tea. Yeah. <laughs> and I always go like, oh, that's what it's But called. a symbol of your defeat. Yeah. Yeah. I, it, it's crazy. No other, and no other loss do you have to wear the, the other team's championship. Yeah. <laughs> Literally have to wear it. Yeah. I love it. It's a good shirt. It's, it's white. Light. And very funny that she did it. Yes. Very funny. It's great white. Because we were still in the fight when she ordered it. Really funny. She's like, you know what? She I'm can doing see the future. delivery. She can see the future yeah. that's she awesome well also she knew like this guy's girlfriend's right yeah she's basically just being like hey maybe calm down you're like trying to quit weed you're trying to quit alcohol yeah. you're 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 supplementing it by doing mushrooms well, for sure let's he has got a little more i think yeah but yeah i think you're absolutely right then but let's let's just see what if he has any other pieces of evidence it's one of those things where like i've never been like felt remotely an urge to do them like I ever felt alcohol or you, you are right now they're, and not, and they're not about. nearly as damaging as like alcohol or other drugs are but she keeps comparing them to opioids and I just don't know like 
I don't know. It seems like the only reason for her, like the only way for her to be like really happy with me is like if I just fully give him up and I just never do it again. Which to me is like one of those things. It's like, yeah, I pick her over the mushrooms, but it also is like, I think she's being a little bit. Yeah. Also, like she can't make me see the world for what it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm sorry, but you can't make Dark Side of the Moon sync up with Wizard of Oz. It's like, hey, oh, hey, babe, uh, can you go over to that tree? Yeah. Can you make the bark move? Oh no, you can't. So maybe. Oh, you can't do that. Can you can you make me remember a conversation in seventh grade and have it mean meaning right now? Can you improve my posture for some reason? Yeah. Is that something you could do? No. Here's a, here's like the be all end all. Can you dunk a basketball? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> if you can dunk on her, mm-hmm. she can't say shit. <laughs> That's a but good But if, if you're one of these five nine motherfuckers, no, like she's noticing that your habit is accelerating. She <laughs> yeah, knows I mean, that you have had the is, issue in the can, past. Can I just I just want to hear the end of his delusion because it feels like he's trying to land the plane here. And I'd yeah. love everything he said has been dumber than the last. <laughs> and like like no, in general, and I just don't know how to like. Say, hey, yes, I know alcohol is a problem, but this is different. You know, I've never felt any urges to do them. I'm also really sensitive and careful and, like, I'm really looking out for, like, any future addictions just because it's, like... Okay. Uh, this is cool. I honestly, I, I, um, I can completely relate to this guy because at 24 years old, that's exactly how I talked about alcohol that's all the time. Right? Like, it's not a problem. And she's like, Gene, she's mad that I'm going out and drinking till three in the morning yeah. with Joe List. And it's like, <laughs> Do it's I drink not even every a fucking day? problem. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry that when the sun goes down, I like to have a beer. <laughs> oh, oh, so you're saying it doesn't feel good when the warm shower water is hitting your back and the cold beer is hitting your lips yeah. before uh, work? And, I'm t- and you're probably telling me that taking a hungover shower bath where it's just right on my face is bad for me. Yeah. Yeah. People yeah. puke on Wednesday mornings. It happens. Oh, I'm Dry supposed to... Dry heaving is healthy for your abs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not supposed to get high as fuck to dull the headache yeah. and then order $30 worth of greasy diner food Oh my delivered god! delivered right to my door? What am I, a fucking yeah. animal? What are you, my mom? Yeah. <laughs> You're being a fucking bitch. What, if, what are you, my mom, who also pointed out that I had a problem yeah. a few years ago? <laughs> this uh, this bitch-ass attitude is the reason dad left. <laughs> Uh, if this was a different situation and if he was driving a car mm-hmm. and she was going, hey, you're uh, you're speeding up, yeah. you wouldn't go, God, it's not that I'd pick speed over you. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. 75 yeah. is more than 72. Yeah. Fine. Yeah. If you want to be mathematical about it. I'm telling you right now, just don't do mushrooms for like two weeks and go like, hey, I'm yeah. going to do mushrooms in March. And she'll well, that, be like, that's the thing. It's like she's not, she's saying dome every six months, which by the way, as someone who likes mushrooms, <laughs> that seems very reasonable you, to me. Yeah. You mentioned Terrence McKenna. I think that was how frequently Terrence McKenna did mushrooms. <laughs> Who like wrote the Bible on it? <laughs> like, the like, foremost expert on it. Like you, you're so right, Dan. You hear it in his voice, The that addict rationalization. Yeah. And he's also like, how he's framed it so many times like how do i explain to her it's not that bad and it's like yeah dude we were just talking about computer huffing computer dust there are things <laughs> that aren't that bad that you can abuse and you he just said he's done him a hand over from the time he was 17 to 24 he's done him a dozen times and now he wants to do him every month and listen and i'm going to tell you this as your young father because i could have been a, <laughs> i could have been your father had i yeah, fucked young absolutely at 17 i could have been your father <laughs> 17 years older than you I just stopped smoking. I I'm about to be 41, and it took my therapist going like, "Hey, maybe take a break from weed to think about it." And I was going, "I had this energy. Well, I don't I don't even know about that because how am I going to relax yeah, when I get yeah, over yeah, the road?" Yeah, yeah. So that energy like sticks with you. And when I quit smoking weed, I was like, "Yeah, I, I probably needed to do that. Yeah, I needed to reframe how I'm going to come back to it." But that's all she's asking you to do is just reframe how you look at mushrooms. I, and, and like, yeah, and then it's like, dude, you just quit. You just quit drinking, and and his argument is like, I don't feel the urge to do them that much, and it's like that's the that's the most like an addict that's just speaking in circles. His entire call <laughs> is that he's feeling the urge to do them more, yeah. and she's saying don't do them that much. Yeah, man. So like, you're literally just saying I'm doing it because I like it. I could stop anytime I want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like and it's like if you really force me to, I <laughs> guess I would pick you over mushrooms. And it's like, dude, so you're just so 
to summarize here, you're fully in the wrong, okay? Yeah. Like, it is a little much to be doing mushrooms every fucking month. She's not even saying don't ever do them. You're putting that on her. Yeah. She, she said, I'd prefer if you did them every six months, which, again, totally reasonable. I felt that way where I was like, I've skipped doing mushrooms because I was like, you know what? Like, I'm even going to do mushrooms for a year, which I'm just like, I don't need to necessarily do them. They're not as bad as those other things. But I'm like, look, if I'm going to commit to being sober for a year, Go I'm going to commit to, you know, everything. Yeah. So, like, just fucking, just chill. That's so huge. Because, and this guy even is sober from alcohol. But, like, that's so huge. The the 90% of getting sober is just being honest with yourself. Yeah. Like, right, eliminating right, right, bullshit. Right, right, right. It's like but also, clearly, you can come back to it, dude. Yeah. yeah, I'm coming back. Trust me. She's By the time this episode's hit the airwaves, yeah, Dan's <laughs> yeah. only sort of learned his lesson. From <laughs> <laughs> I'm high as shit as we speak. <laughs> as you're watching this right now, your boy's high as fuck. <laughs> but yeah, dude, you, you, she's you are being a little unreasonable, and it fe you said you're very sensitive and looking out for future addictions. Well, here's a big one, bro. You're not. You're willfully ignoring this. And she's got, she's making a point. Don't do mushrooms every fucking month, especially not when you're clearly trying to replace. And I know it's not the same as drinking, but anytime you're ratcheting up some kind of drug use when a different one is gone, that's a problem. Uh, next question. Fucking this poor little drug addict. Yeah. 